But that's the way it goes in ice dance and just hope it changes. It's getting better, but it's so slow, the process. Now from the Soviet Union, Oksana Grichuk and Evgeny Platov. They're in joint fourth place going into this original program. Absolutely vital for this couple to finish above Clara Engi and Attila Toth, who they're joint fourth with going into this original program. Joint fourth, and they're the Soviet number threes. It's amazing. Great expression and feeling in this ice dance. The Russian skaters really do just concentrate hard on their basic skating and it shows in every performance whether you're watching the pair skaters, the free skaters or the ice dancers. Superb skating. the most intricate program we've seen so far. Certainly very, very difficult. And they skate so well. So important for any people out there wishing to take up ice skating, the most important thing is to perfect your basic skating forwards, backwards, and then all the tricks look so much better and come so much easier. You could be watching their future world champions, because, of course, the top two Soviets, Usova and Zulin, Timova and Ponomarenko, will retire after the Olympics next year in Albeville. And these two almost certainly will be the new Soviet number ones. Well, they seem to have a conveyor belt of uh, pair skaters and ice dancers in the Soviet five Union. Point, six, Straight out of the mold point, of Klimova and Ponomarenko. Five point, six, well, the mark's coming up for composition. 5-3 from the Swiss, I think that's pretty amazing because it looked to me technically as difficult as anything we've seen. Up to 5.7 from the Soviet judge. And they're better for presentation, a lot better. Courtney Jones going right up to 5.8 along with the Austrian, Adrian Perko. Down to 5.4 from the French and also the Swiss. Well, you might have expected that but they move into third place overall. Still the Duchenne's and Engie and Toth to come.